All right, guys, you know what day it is. It is Snap On Thursday. And Kevin is here. This truck is loaded down. Let's see what he's got. Let's do it. Woo! It's Thursday. <laughs> we gotta check uh, your eyes. Oh, it comes. Yeah, comes a. <laughs> That, that blows quick. everybody's mind. Uh, well, that is a hoss. Oh, yeah. Right yeah, there. it came in the day that I had to deliver it, but I asked the company if they didn't mind me holding on to it for a week so I could show uh, some other big shops. It is a torque multiplier. Yeah. Was it four to one? Uh, it's like 60 to one. It's got a setting like 500, 1500. No. 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000 foot-pounds. Holy smokes. And it is a monster. That's a horse. <laughs> what is that like? Probably 300 bucks? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings on that one. Ooh, man, everybody gets hurt over snap-on prices. Yeah. Everybody. It's actually cry. not that bad. For what it does, uh, I think it's a steal. They cry about it. What you got set up here with uh, Craftsman and Matco and Mac? And That's Snap just on? one of the demos showing how uh, our stuff one will get into a tighter spot, like okay. the way our flank drive are. And so our, that was the snap on socket. Which yeah, one is this? This one is Mac. Okay. And it will not reach. This one is the Matco will not reach in there. This one is the Craftsman and also will not reach into that little spot. And then right there is a snap on one again. And as you see, it slips right down in there. No problem. And then it's also on that side is to show how our, like you have limited thread limited threads on that piece right and ours will thread it right on there okay and our competitors slip it in there like it's a hard to reach spot and it's just theirs is recessed so it's showing that the i guess um, the bolster or the yes where our bolster deeper. is yes just lets it go where if you're in a blind spot where you can't tell, uh, you can just sort of feed feed that nut into right. the spot, and ours will ours will feed it on there with very limited. I think there's what four or five threads hmm. right there. It's another demo that that I kept out. I actually had to do a little bit of research because everybody kept on asking, so I'm sort of glad well, I did it last go. night. It is a you know, just shows so the benefits and uh, features well, of there'll be of another there'll be an icon versus <laughs> snap on socket video coming up coming to YouTube yeah, yeah. for you guys right there that way you can uh, see what's happening that's a cool little set right here now yeah I had a 3.8 set that I was I was going to show you too but it sold at the last stop oh I imagine so it's got shallow and deep metric yep. and standard yep it's in a foam in the case yeah, i like that design that way you can take the foam out if you want to use it in your toolbox drawer yes. and well the 3 8 set i keep in my personal vehicle yeah so worst comes to worst it, it has enough in there that i should be if i got to swap out transmissions i should be able to drop the transmission swap and swap it out you're talking about bad work right there bad work but that uh you got a chevrolet yeah. yeah. Well, I got a GMC Sierra. Yeah. Good thing you got that, then. That's, that's transmission going to happen. <laughs> I, I've had one code already. I had, I've already had to change out the temp sensor. It was right after I bought the truck. Yeah. But it so happened. far, luckily, which, I mean, it's a huge truck, too. So it's... That's it's, a nice little set up there, too. Good old boy trucks. That's a really nice little set. I think what one that is part number and then selling the good i think i had two of them up there earlier you yeah, that's a nice set and you have the adam van i'm doing that with the deep 
sockets this. Oh yeah, the Lego. Well, Adam. Yeah, they don't, they don't pay Lego royalties. <laughs> Imagine that. Snap on of every company yeah. don't want to give somebody the royalties off of Legos. I'm gonna call them. They Legos. actually had that dude, the guy that does Adam. He was at the tool show. Yeah. And I don't know how they like. I don't know if they scan something in order to make them like that. But like the the pink, the cancer, the breast, that funny car or that race car yeah. that they had set up. He had one, and it was. I bet you it was about about maybe three foot long. Hey, and that's it, cool. it was it was all Adam bricked. Yeah, that is kind of cool the way he does the smooth sides and the the curve pieces. I haven't ever put one together. Usually, like when my rep had one on the truck i pretty much just buy it and i put it in the leave closet it, leave it in the plastic yes, uh, yep. try not to mess with them at that's all me. <laughs> man that's a monster light oh yeah yeah i, I sold it a lot up the world i sold it last week wednesday and then had had to get another one because it, it's a fairly it's an item. The guy that actually got it, he worked at a body shop trying to oh, see the body yeah, lines. Yeah. He, he said it was perfect. I think it's 2,700 lumens. So it's, it's I figured those guys that bright. do that paintless dent repair, that would yeah, be really too. good for them too. Those guys are talented, man. The way they, yeah, the way they drill a little out. bitty tiny hole and reach in there and fix well, I some like of the watching, stuff they do. Uh, they use the glue and they put the lines yeah. over the car and then you can sort of see mm -hmm. where they're deformed and then they'll sit there and just peck around That's it. It's crazy. I don't know how, how they, they do it, it but it, it's definitely an art. Those guys are something else. And we sell that whole machine. I didn't even know that we offered that machine, but I had one of my body shop guys, he's fixing to get into the paintless dent pulling. Yeah. And he asked if I could get the rig because it's a actual suction machine that will hold suction on that. So Heck it's not yeah. like, it's not like how the windshield right. thing is where you just plop it down. Yeah. This thing actually holds, holds suction. The whole thing. Yes. So I had an interesting comment that somebody left. He said that he don't have a shop and he was told, he called Snap-on number. He was wanting to buy some Snap-on tools. Mm -hmm. And they told him that the dealer wouldn't service a guy without a shop. And I said, that's bull crap because I yeah, personally I... know like, well, I was with Hamilton one day, I did a ride with Hamilton. And like there was people pulled up to us at the gas station. Yeah. Happens and would come in and pay cash for the obviously that you're not gonna get truck credit because you don't have a shop you know but yeah no stuff like, like that they do have to pay full out people there was probably four or five guys at that one <coughs> and they wasn't even together so it's crazy yeah. you know and that's where i come up with it's funny if you're a snap-on guy people will run down the street throwing hundred dollar bills at your truck you know <laughs> but because it literally happened yes, the day that i was riding with him yes and, it does but um Anyway, that is, I don't know why Snap-on would tell him that, but I don't know any Snap-on guy that don't like to sell tools. Yeah, so if you've uh, got green cash in your hand, you most definitely. And it's if I stop anywhere too long. Like if I stop at a gas station and like yeah. I'll pull away from the pump just because I'm not trying to tie up a pump, I'll pull and like circle around and try and take care of something real quick. I can just about guarantee you, mm -hmm. if I'm at a gas station longer than just pumping gas, someone's fixed, like the other day I pulled up at a gas station, I didn't even have time to get out of the truck. Dude met me at, at the door. Yeah. <laughs> so, which I can understand, like if you're not a regular customer, you know, you wouldn't break a set to warranty something for a guy yeah. that you don't know. I mean, that's, that's kind of Well, I will, sense. I'll, I'll warranty but. stuff for him, especially on, on a situation like that. I don't like breaking a set, but mm -hmm. I like to take care of the customer right then and there. Yeah. Like, cause I don't know when, like I warrantied, uh, it was a inflator. And it's for a guy here in Boomble. Like, he tracked me down at the gas station. Yeah. Uh, I had stopped for gas, and uh, I saw the truck. I mean, he pulled in front of this truck, like, usually how they do, so I can't move. Block him. Yeah, Block he blocked, you in. Yeah, he blocked me <laughs> in. And he's like, man, I got this inflator. It's tore up. Can I send it in? Yeah. And I was like, cool, yeah. So, and then I lost his information. Uh-oh. I, I couldn't find it back on my warranty service, service card. And then I finally found it, man. I had to just pull like three months of paperwork out of all the <laughs> warranty stuff that I'd done in the first few months. And I had to just go sheet by sheet till, till I found the inflator so I could get his information. Because well, apparently good. I was so new, I didn't put it in the computer properly. Yeah. But I found, I found the repair slip, had his number on that. So then I called, called him and we met, we met down there at one of the salvage yards and he picked it up. But That's good. Well, I noticed you got a... Somebody asked for the part number for this light, and it is a CTL 
861. I believe is what it says. Yeah. But you got some new colors. You got the green and the high vias hanging there. Yeah, I did have the gun metal, but it was the first one to go. Uh, I had a few, few more reds. I, I had a point where I was trying to get one for a guy and it never showed up. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just, since I'm waiting on one, and then I had some other guys, well, if you mm -hmm. get that in, get it in like gun metal. So I got in gun metal and then I got high vis and green guys. So, well, and then they all showed up at once. No pink stuff, I see. Nope, uh, and apparently none of my dealers in this area, like my franchise brothers, we just had a meeting Monday and I was like, have y'all seen any of your pink stuff? They're like, no, nah. and they bought it too. That sucks. I hope you end you're, up getting some of those ratchets. If you me. do, you gotta put me some oh, back. Yeah. Well, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually, I told one of my guys at one of my shops the other day, cause I had to break the news to him that apparently our orders aren't gonna come in. Uh, sort of broke my heart especially when i went to that meeting because i asked the guys that got me into this i was like have y'all got any of your pink stuff no and then get with get with our sd and get with everybody and apparently it's not coming apparently it's all sold out snap on what the <laughs> hell yeah that's, come uh, on now but i told most of my guys because you can go in that snap on connect app uh just shoot shoot me a Shoot me a picture of the part number, stuff like that. I, I should have some ways to locate what, what people are looking for. I'll do my best to find, like, if you want hammers, those ratchets, I'll definitely, because there is a few. Uh, well, I seen some a guy posted this morning on Instagram. It was the black and pink soft grip handles. Yes, sir. And that's that's what I'm in the market for, so. I'll have to lo locate them. Hopefully. That Snap-on Connect site should be probably the best bet. That's where a lot of the guys are finding it, and I'm telling them, just find what you want. Shoot me a screenshot of it, and I'll yep. see what I can do to get it ordered. Cool. Because, yeah, that is, a, that is a horrible situation there, because I got guys <laughs> that were wanting the blankets, and I yeah. at least wanted one of the funny cars. Well, what else new you got on here? Anything good? And it's hard to keep any. Well, I got the other big. This was a trade-in though, but I do like showing off the big stuff. Got a one inch. Yep, I got that same torque wrench. Uh, same. This sort of shows ones. like the shops <laughs> yeah. I work with. Everybody is think it torques out to like 600 foot pounds. Mm -hmm. It's a monster. I got that same exact one. The only thing, on my only complaint, it's a bitch to try to store. It's, it's still, so long. Yeah, that's why uh, it's right there for right now. But yeah. I, I did get in some one. socks and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, most of the new stuff that they sent me this week is sold. Like I, for sure, the price on that three eighths blow mold pack, like mm -hmm. the like the quarter, it, it was a little salty. And that dude's like, well, I'll take it. And I was like, for real? And <laughs> it sort of surprised me. He's like, yeah, I got to have it. Yeah. He's like, I need something to go in my truck. That is a really so, nice kit. I bought the, see, I'm a little, I don't have that kind of money. I had to buy the blue point set to go yeah. in my truck. That's a nice kit. I guess the... Uh, I don't sell it. sell it for 150 bucks. <laughs> Probably the hottest. Y'all notice how he just lies about it? He's, yep. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. It's Fire just right. a starter set. Yeah. That, that's been one of the hot items this week. I've had it on the truck for a while. I don't know why it took took a few weeks for it to catch hold. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they're just... And there's so scope. much. I did inventory this past week, so it's it's all accounted for at least you know i bought that meter and everybody give me t total hail when i bought that thing yeah but i love it like especially the bluetooth part where you can look at it on your phone yeah and then i like, do the enhanced one also that might be the one that's the one i have yeah, yeah. i, I say, just looked I at the screen that one's gotta be a bluetooth yeah. one but that where you can turn it on your phone because like we'd check voltage on trailers like abs voltage and stuff yeah and i wouldn't have to have two people to the look at no. everything is great. And our yeah. gas, our fuel pressure gauges, our trash, uh, transmission uh, sets, all that has went to where you can Bluetooth it, or it has a Bluetooth device with it where, it's nice where you can you have can one person, it. yeah, yep. instead of trying to tie someone else up at the shop. It's I guess really I did get in my knives. That would be something that's also new. The knives? In the case. They came in last Luckily, they came in right before inventory, so I got to count every single one of them. Bunch of them in there. That's probably the CEO. That's probably one that everybody has really liked. Oh, that's cool. 
That's a and different looking works. knife. That little square one, like <laughs> a rectangle. Yeah. That one. I'm afraid of this one. I'm not sure how that one opens. Ah, there we go. It's oh, heck, that's like a razor out. blade. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. That's cool looking. That one and probably the red one. I have the red one. I haven't pulled the trigger on this one yet, but I will probably end up purchasing that Well, hopefully that your step on guy will give you a discount. <laughs> 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 Man, I didn't I, catch you a little break, man. I need, need a little break. Well, it's like I keep all the... Man, I love beef jerky. It's so hard not to eat beef jerky oh, yeah. on my own truck. I was like, man. See, my problem, if I was you, I'd get a little hungry. Yeah. And after the guys got <laughs> off the truck, I'd grab a bag and eat it on my way to the next aisle. I wouldn't have none to sell. So, yeah, you got a, more willpower than I do. Yeah. Well, Biggie right. Small said it right. Don't get high on your own supply. So, I got to leave everything alone, man. <laughs> it's, it's rough. It is rough. Well, there you go. All right, guys. Well, it's Thursday. And it's the end of the day for you guys on Thursday. One more day to go. Like always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger, click that button. Y'all have a great week. See ya.